All right, have and have not fans now in the midst of season seven, which again, uh, 2020 guys, I know the weight is, it is wearing me down. I'm not going to lie. I mean, Greenlee, what this upcoming week, uh, Tuesday is the mid season finale of ambitions. Then the following week is the premiere of Greenleaf season four. Then in October, we have the oval coming, but guess what? The haves and the have nots. 2020 the weight is definitely wearing on all of us but imdb has a lot of episode titles out and i have various videos and theories to go through so don't worry this channel is still up and running and before moving any further feel free to hit that subscribe button if you are new and could you please give this video a thumbs up because this is one episode title that really caught my attention we're talking season seven episode seven lucky seven <laughs> and the title is called a change of heart a change of heart now this title is interesting because it brings about the question who is changing their heart I mean uh, Chandler and I what was it the other night it was like at 3 30 a.m. and we uh, were talking about the various titles of season 7 and there are several uh, to talk about and there's another one episode 15 but that's his own separate video but could a change of heart be referring to Charles having a change of heart and wanting to get Candace back. Now, to be honest, guys, I guess the real question is, even if Charles was to approach Candace, should she take him back? Now, before answering that question, I know in the comments, like, Jeremy, hell yeah, they need to get back together. They belong together. Candace needs to get back with him. Not, okay, and, I, and I, I'm not trying to take sides on this. I found it very hard to even do towards the end of season six. Candace was exposed to the general public because she was spotted at the White House. So basically, a lot of the people, the, uh, excuse me, a lot of the powerful people she has screwed over in her past have come out and spoken. In a way, it's almost like the Bill Cosby thing where, like, these uh, women came out and told their story. It's kind of like, you know, that with Candace. But the thing is, and the thing I really wish we would see more of is the aftermath of that. Basically, these men are coming forward with, you know, either blackmail, extortion, affairs, whatever the situation is exposing Candace's true colors heavily tarnishing Charles's image hence why he kicked her to the curb now I I do feel like that was messed up and she did make a valid point it's like you're the one that pretty much uprooted me and took me with you and now you want to kick me out so to question the question is should Candace and Charles actually get together like him having a change of heart I actually am not surprised about that whatsoever it goes back to what Landon was saying about Charles not being at his best, you know, when Candace wasn't around. Well, pretty much until she came into his life and then left. And then that's when he was acting, you know, down. And then when she was back, he was better. But now it hit the fan and he let her go again. And I remember with Chandler, I was talking about, well, we don't know where Landon is. I mean, he is supposed to be coming back to the show. I don't know exactly when, maybe season seven. They did do the reshoots or possibly season eight. But we do know that Jeffrey Owens will be showing up this season. He will be portraying a senator. I don't know his name or exactly what role he's playing because it's still up in the air about his running mate. Now, here's my thing. I was thinking that maybe, just maybe, Jeffrey Owens could be the Landon-like character. You know, Landon was the one that got Candace and Charles back together. What if Jeffrey Owens is the same person this time? Basically, the the middleman trying to get Charles back at the top of his game, recognizing, hey, I'm sorry, everything that happened with that Candace young girl, you know, I know that was bad. Yeah, that's why I had to let her go. And maybe Jeffrey Owens, and remember, I don't know the character's name, so I can only call him Jeffrey Owens, unless I call him the senator, but that's too confusing. So basically, Jeffrey Owens, maybe he had a past himself where perhaps he had the choice of choosing the love of his life or his career, but he decided to choose his career, and that woman just was gone and he regrets it and maybe he doesn't want Charles to make the same mistake which could mean the episode 7 a change of heart could be in reference to that I don't know I'm just speculating here but the question is you know when you think about it Charles is the one who's dancing on eggshells he's pretty much being wishy-washy about the situation because at first it was all about I need her and this and that but then as time went on they both began to care about each other but it just kind of escalated a bit quickly now I wonder if even if Candace and Charles decide to get back together, how exactly would that 
protect her from like the FBI and everything. I'm pretty sure she'll probably go to court or something. But that goes back to the video I did a couple of days ago about Candace defending herself in court. So I guess the question is, an episode title, the change, of, a change of heart. And keep in mind, guys, aside from episode one, are you happy? None of the episodes for season seven have a synopsis. So I'm pretty much speculating based off the titles and everything we've seen in the show thus far. But it sounds like a pretty good theory if you ask me. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And uh, like I said in the beginning, you know, feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I'd really appreciate it if you are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. And for everyone watching, if you have not done so, hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content because I usually drop, what, a three to four or five videos at a time. You know how I do on this channel. So let me know your thoughts and I will talk to you soon. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you just saw, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Or if you have anything you would like to add to the video, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to keep up with me on social media, go to the description box. All of my links for social media are right there. Also, if you feel like you would like to donate to the channel, make sure to click on the link to PayPal. Any amount helps, a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars. As a full-time YouTuber, any support from my fans really does mean a lot to me. Finally, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you're kept up to date on any new content I post to the channel. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you in the next video.